Rice horned caterpillar. A threat to rice crops. Rice is more than just food. It is a lifeline for billions of people across the globe. But as crucial as this crop is, it is under constant threat from pests that can severely impact its yield. Among these pests, one of the most destructive is the rice horned caterpillar. Today, we'll take a deep dive into understanding this pest, its appearance, life cycle, impact on crops, and most importantly, the strategies we can use to manage and control it effectively. By the end of this talk, you'll have all the tools you need to protect rice crops from this formidable adversary. Identification. The first step in combating the rice horned caterpillar is learning to identify it. This pest is most active during its larval stage and it's easy to recognize once you know what to look for. The caterpillar has a long slender body, typically green or brown, allowing it to camouflage perfectly among rice leaves. A distinctive feature is the horn-like projections on its body, which help it blend into the environment and deter predators. Farmers can often spot the damage caused by the caterpillar even before they see the pest itself. Look for leaves with ragged edges, holes, or sections that appear completely chewed through. This early detection is critical for effective management. Life cycle. To understand how to break the cycle of infestation, we need to know the life stages of the rice horned caterpillar. 1. Egg stage. The moth lays its eggs directly on rice leaves. These eggs are tiny and can be challenging to spot with the naked eye. 2. Larvae stage. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae or caterpillars emerge. This is the most destructive stage as the caterpillars feed aggressively on the leaves of rice plants. 3. Pupil stage. After feeding, the caterpillar transforms into a pupa where it prepares to become an adult moth. During this stage, it is relatively inactive. 4. Adult moth stage. The adult moth emerges from the pupa ready to lay eggs and begin the cycle again. Understanding these stages helps farmers intervene at the right time, especially before the caterpillars mature and lay eggs of their own. impact on rice crops. Now let's talk about the damage. The rice horned caterpillar primarily feeds on the leaves of rice plants. This feeding reduces the plant's ability to photosynthesize, which directly impacts growth and yield. In the early stages, the damage might seem minimal. Just a few chewed leaves here and there. 
But as the caterpillars grow and multiply, the damage becomes extensive, leaving entire sections of fields defoliated. This can lead to stunted plants, lower grain production, and even complete crop failure in severe infestations. The economic impact of this pest is significant, particularly for small-scale farmers who rely on every grain of rice for their livelihood. management and control. While the rice horn caterpillar is a formidable pest, it is not invincible. Effective management requires an integrated approach that combines cultural, biological and chemical methods. 1. Cultural practices. Regularly inspect fields for early signs of infestation. Remove caterpillars manually in smaller fields to prevent spread. Ensure proper water management, as flooded fields can sometimes deter caterpillars. Rotate crops to disrupt the pest's life cycle. 2. Biological control. Encourage natural predators such as birds, spiders and parasitic wasps, which feed on the caterpillars. Introduce biological agents like Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, a bacterium effective against caterpillars but safe for plants and humans. 3. Chemical control. When infestations are severe, chemical pesticides may be necessary. Always choose pesticides recommended by agricultural experts and apply them as per guidelines to avoid harming non-target species or the environment. Use systemic insecticides that target the caterpillars without leaving harmful residues. By combining these methods, farmers can significantly reduce the impact of the rice-horned caterpillar while promoting long-term sustainability.